over 75% of evangelical Republicans want to make the U.S. a Christian nation. Wow. And actually, it's a lot worse than this. It's actually a lot worse than this. Because a new study finds that more than 60% of Republicans in the U.S. support declaring America a Christian nation. 65% of Republicans. Over 60% of just Republicans. Aren't, they, aren't Republicans supposed to be like constitutional values and, and whatnot? Yeah. So you're saying so you're saying more than the majority of Republicans are against the US Constitution. So they're yeah, anti-American. And they know it too. And they know yeah. it. Because this well, these are Amer these they're anti-American. These are so American let's, values. Let's talk about it. Okay. Okay. The study titled The American Public Attitudes on Wraith, Ethnicity, and Religion was published by the University of Mar Maryland Critical Issues Poll. The study, conducted between May 6th to May 16th, 2022, involved a little over 2,000 respondents and asked two polarizing questions regarding religiosity and the Constitution. The first question asked the participants if they think, quote, the U.S. would or would not allow, the U.S. Constitution would or would not allow the U.S. government to declare the United States a Christian nation. 70% of the respondents answered that they think that the U.S. Constitution would not allow the declaration of the U.S. as a Christian nation. The remaining 30% who think otherwise are mostly Republicans at 43%, independents at 28%, and Democrats at only 19%. The second question asked if they favor or oppose the declaration of the United States as a Christian nation, to which 61% of the Republican respondents said that they would favor it. The study also identified white grievance as a highly related factor to Republicans supporting Christian nationalism. Quote, Right, white respondents who said that their members of their race have faced more discrimination than others are most likely to embrace a Christian America, the study added. And and this is not this is a new brand of Christianity that these people endorse. This is like a, this is like evangelical Republicans is not the type of evangelicals that we're used to. This is like QAnon stuff. Right? This is Q stuff. This is Q nonsense. Yeah. And it's right. This so is a wild. new, re this is so different. This is a new religion, by the way. Trumpism or QAnon, it's, it, it has the appearance of the aesthetics of evangelical Christianity, right? But ideologically, it's kind of different. Um, it's very much focused on conspiracy theories, Illuminati, um, the, sa you know, the satanic panic. The Red Scare, um, anti anti Semitism, and anti trans, anti LGBT. I mean, that's evangelical Christianity as well. But there's a lot of there's a lot more to it than just evangelical Christianity. It just seems like a lot of, other than the appearance of evangelical Christianity, a lot of the teachings of evangelical Christianity is not the core of their values. Like, a lot of these people talk more about Trump than they do about Jesus. Oh my God. Yeah. Um, so I wanted to pull up these, some of these figures because I'm a very visual person and it helps me understand things to look at the visualization. And this brings up a very interesting point. So let's, let's focus on these two things right here. And I have a few more. So most respondents say that Christian nationalism is unconstitutional. So most Americans actually Yes, 70% of Americans believe that declaring the U.S. a Christian nation is un un unconstitutional. Look, let's look at that. The majority of Republicans say that the U.S. Constitution would not allow it. However, it, when asked, would you favor or oppose declaring the U.S. a Christian nation, the majority of Republicans favor it. Even so they're the openly... Majority they... of Republicans know that it's unconstitutional. Wait! Wait, so they know it's against the Constitution, and they're still for it. So they're admitting that they're against the U.S. the U.S. Constitution. These are Republicans. Republicans are supposed to be like my Constitution. They like they 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 jack off to the Constitution more than their own Bible. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but there's still you have such a way with words. <laughs> they do. And they're openly anti-US cons. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. So we now know that the Democrats are more um interested in upholding the constitutional values of the United States and the Republicans. Overwhelmingly so. Look at these. Eighty-three percent of Democrats oppose something like that, which is like almost entirely consistent with their understanding that the Constitution would not allow it. Yeah, amazing. That's pretty. I want to interview that that group with it, like that is say that believes that this is against the Constitution, but their favorite as well. I want to interview them because yeah. this is like yeah, anti-American rallies. The Republican Party is anti-American rallies. This also like. Okay. Much love to my friends who, you know, support the Republican Party for a variety of reasons. Okay. Wait, okay. what? No love. No love from me. Only Susie gives you love. But go no, ahead. I mean, I, 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 I have love for them for other things, right? Okay. Because these are people that are, are good people. Okay. We just have major disagreements. Okay. But what the hell? How can you guys not be embarrassed as fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I'm questioning whether you could be a good person or a Republican at the same time. I am not sure about that. I do have friends where I think they're good people. I really do. I know I'm questioning severe disagreements about how to actually go about establishing a better world for people. Right. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Of course. Uh, But it's just like, it's, it's questionable though. Like I have like, I have to, I have to work hard when somebody is Republican. Right. I it just make I have to make an effort to <laughs> to understand they could still potentially be good people. It's really hard for me to accept that. If that's a fact, it's a it's a it's a pill that is hard to swallow. Yeah. One thing that I thought was really interesting is that it also broke things down in terms of age. And so a lot of this is being driven by the silent generation and the baby boomers. This is who's primarily driving this trend. And this is particularly because, I mean, we also see it, you know, in the Democrat side as well. The people who are of these generations are more likely to support these on the Democrat side. So what the analysis of the, these figures was saying was basically that in the moment, like we are like they're, they're saying that in our upcoming election cycles, we are going to see like a full swing into this, basically we're going to see people double down and go down this vein because that's what there's a lot of support for it. That's not being tapped into. And we're starting to see it being explicitly tapped into now. But the thing is based on these generational statistics, that will be a political loser. They said in the long term, because there are a lot of people who are young people amongst the Republican party that oppose this. The, the majority of young people in the Republican Party actually oppose these ideas. So they might end up jumping ship if they go, if they double down too hard on this. Yeah. I, I just noticed something, okay? You know how I said there these people are anti-American values, right? These are the same people, okay, who attempted the coup in the United States, right? So they're also against democracy, and they're also anti-police, anti-FBI, anti-cop, right? So they're consistently anti-America. Like there's, you know, they're against election results, they're against democracy, they're they're supporting a wannabe tyrant, and they're also against, you know, separation of church and state. They want to make it a Christian nation. They're against the you know, the legal system, they're against the FBI, they're against the CIA. So they're anti-American. I mean, I wouldn't say that the support for the FBI or CIA is like the qualifier of what who is an American. These people proclaim themselves to be the most American. They're anti-law enforcement. They're, they're trying to take it back from elites who have been corrupted by the deep state in their mind. I know, but they think the deep state has taken over, like... They look at America and they look at something that has been corrupted 
and been taken by the deep state to, to everywhere, like the FBI, the CIA, all the politicians. So, and they hate it. So they hate America. They hate everything. Um, that's why they said make America great again, because they believe that America is not great. So as much as they act like they love America, they like a version of America that does not exist. A version of America that thought they believed that they exist before. It never existed. So they have a dream. As Dee mentions, they're rewriting history. An, ide an idealized version of America that they wish exists and never will exist. So the America that, that does exist is an America that they hate. So they're anti-American. These people that act like they're patriotic are the most anti-American Americans. Where's Susie? I'm out of words. All right, let me see. Higgs boson is saying FBI, CIA are liberal organizations. Yeah, that's why they hate them. Um, Imran is saying, to be fair, hating the CIA is being pro-democracy. <laughs> and it, it used, This used to be true more before than it is now. Okay, technically... Every country needs an intelligence agency to be able to function. And I think the CIA has improved. I mean, it's hard to be as bad as it was before. But I think right now the CIA, as even if CIA does bad things right now, see, the CIA is a more uh, a force for good than for, for evil right now. Without the CIA, the world would... Ish. Like, we, like, a lot of us are alive because of the CIA. So there's that. Um, yeah, D is saying these were the idiots from January 6th, uh, waving Christians and Confederate flags. They are white soup. Oh, yeah, I'm not gonna read that. Supreme sandwiches. <clears throat> Shreya, she's saying, strum an argument, Roman. Well, I don't know, calling something a strum man without providing what the actual argument from the other side is. It's not going to be very helpful. What is uh, what is the Steelman version of it? Which what I said is which which one of the things many things I said is a strawman. Um, Gage and American is saying depends on which nation you're in. Yes, exactly. Well, I mean, right now I think like overall CIA is a uh, net is a force for good. Susie, come back. Uh, sorry, every time Susie leaves, I'm forcing her to come back, but I take a lot of breaks myself. They're Higgs was going to say they, pref they prefer FBI becomes like a Christian police again. Again, it was never like that. Um, oh, yeah. Let me D. D saying, Armin, email Telltale. What is it? Telltale Atheist. He knows a lot about, he knows all about this. And he said, yeah, sure, he might do an interview. Oh, well, Susie, I wish Susie was here. I'm going to leave this on for Susie so she knows if she's interested in contacting. I, these days, I don't really have time for interviews. I'm behind on everything. But, yeah, maybe. Uh, Nomar's saying, I don't know how about keep missing. Oh, no, I already read that before. Um, oh, my God. Susie, come back. Oh, there we go. Susie, I'm Susie. back. Okay. Sorry. my I'm having a lot of health problems today. You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.